meet up with us. Kayla's parents are getting us a room at the Daytona Grand Vista. Who's gonna take care of my dog? I'm sure there are pet sitters in LA or ask a neighbor or something. Who's that? Come in. What are you doing here? I want you to stop telling people I did something that I didn't do. How did you even get in here? There was a girl who came in, so I snuck in behind her. Look, I was thinking about who might have done this, and it could be Melanie. The new pledge? Yeah, you're always saying that she's jealous of you. She wouldn't have access to your phone. She did. That night you dumped me? You hooked up with her? I was depressed. Get out! No, I'm just saying it could be her. Get out now! I'm gonna call campus security. Fine. I should call Melanie. No, she's been doing that internship thing. She's been gone all week. It couldn't have been her. He's such a scumbag. <sighs> Hello. Don't you have to be up for work? Until noon. Okay, well, I'm being quick. Elise wants to know if you took your bridesmaid dress in to be altered. No, I haven't even tried it on yet. Well, I need you to do that soon. The whole point of sending it out to you was so you could take it to the tailor to have it altered if you needed to. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, if it's too long, I'll just ask Mona to take it up or something. I thought I told you we fired Mona. What? Why? Caught her stealing. It's a long story. Anyway, we have a new housemaid. Her name is Colleen. She's very nice, but I don't think she sews. Yeah, I gotta go. Um, there's somebody here. Laura, oh my god, you're right. He's crazy. What do you mean? Pull up your profile. Okay. God. It won't let me delete it. What a psycho. <sighs> Who are you calling? Campus security. This is too much. Job. Please to You're doing so much better than you did last week. Laura, can I see you for a moment? Sure. You can stop. I'll be back, okay? Um, <laughs> this is all lies. All of it. All the stuff about me driving drunk and getting in a fight with my sorority sisters. None of it's true. Not a word. Well, do you have any idea who would send me something like this? It's obviously intended to ruin your reputation. It's gotta be Ben. Ben? Yeah. It's this guy I dated for a few months. I reported him to campus security this morning for hacking my FB page. I've just broke up with him, so it must be revenge. Honey, I don't mean to scare you, but the last time something like this happened, it was an employee who had just filed for divorce. She ended up having to get a restraining order against her husband. He was ruthless, and he tried to cause problems in every area of her life. I urge you to take this email to the police. Thank you, Solson. I... I don't want you to think that I'm the type of person that gets involved with these crazies. This is all really out of character for him. This kind of thing can happen to anyone. But if someone is trying to destroy your life, don't make it easy for them. Thanks.
know he's denying any involvement in the FB post and the flyers with your phone number. Of course he is. Well, the problem is we can't take any disciplinary action until we have proof. I have asked Daytona Beach PD to review the case, especially since the email he sent to your boss is defamatory. Good. Thank you. I'll keep you apprised. I appreciate it. Hi. That was the head of campus security. She seems pretty on top of it. She told me to temporarily take down all my social media pages. It sucks they can't just suspend him. He shouldn't even be allowed anywhere near you. Well, I'm about to put a lot of space between us in two more days. This is the senior editor. How can I help you? I have a problem with the proof you sent back. The photo is, it's, it's wrong. The color is wrong. It's too orange. That is not how we looked in the original photo I sent. I can ask them to alter the tint. Please. It's important. I can assure you it won't look so orange. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, just... Just make it look perfect, okay? You will. Are you okay, ma'am? No. No, I'm fine. I just, um... I have to go. I know you don't want me to marry Elise. No, that's not true. I want you to be happy. I just wish it was someone your own age. I... That's not fair. And please don't minimize what Elise and I have. She's sweet and she's caring. And yes, I think she's beautiful too. But that's not why we're getting married. Really? Why then? What's, what's the connection? I guess the best way for me to describe it is she brings out a side of me that I like being and she's the first person since her mother that's been able to do that elise is excited to have you in this wedding all i ask is that you realize this is a big day for her show her some attention make her feel like she's a part of the family i want this to be the happiest day of her life well, is it the happiest day for you or was that the day that you met mom Neither, actually. It was the day you were born. It was. There's this joy that comes along with holding your child for the first time that's unlike anything in this world. It changes you as a person. Okay, Dad. I'll be a good bridesmaid, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I promise. <laughs> okay. cooking all day. I hope you didn't go to too much trouble. No, no, no. Just salad and some pasta. Is something burning? 
Oh, damn it. Oh. Oh, no. I ruined them. They look perfect. I like mine crispy, so does she. 30 minutes of 325. I thought I did that. Yeah? Good, yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laura. Colleen, nice to finally meet you. Yeah, you too. Uh, I just finished cleaning your room, and there are fresh towels in your bathroom. Oh, thank you so much. I've got that. Thank you. Oh, thanks. I've never seen so many utensils used to make pasta. I mean, what is the, the meat thermometer for? <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you two are hitting it off. Did your dad tell you why we had to fire Mona? <clears throat> she was robbing us blind. But luckily, a few days later, I received an advertisement from this maid referral service company, and they sent Colleen over. It turns out she used to work at the same company my father worked at. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I used to clean her father's office. I, I never met him, of course. I hired her on the spot. Isn't she great? Yeah. Sounds like it was meant to be. Oh, Laura, uh, will you go put on your dress? I'm dying to see how it looks. I've got this. Go ahead. Oh, I'll help her. Go try it on. Okay. Where did these go? Oh, my gosh. You look gorgeous. Mm. Thanks. <laughs> Actually, I do think that needs to be taken in a little bit at the top, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you excited about the wedding? I'm happy for my dad. You know, that he found someone who makes him happy. He does seem happy with her. How's that? Is that better? Yeah, I think maybe, um, maybe a little tighter here, too. Do you have any kids? I did, a son, but he passed away. I'm so sorry to hear that. It was very hard to lose him. He was my life. How did he die? Car accident. It's a hit and run. They never caught the guy. That's so terrible. My mother died in a car accident. Both drivers were killed, both were at fault. It's terrible to lose someone you love, especially without warning. Yeah. Uh, I sometimes think maybe it would have been better if he'd been sick and I might have prepared myself for it. And then again, it's better for them if it's quick. I think both ways suck. You're right. <laughs> they do. But in my son's case, I have faith that someday justice will be served. Is that better? Um, yeah. I think that's perfect. Great. I will take it off and I'll have it ready for you tomorrow. Thank you. This was left on the porch for you. It's from Daytona. Great. I don't understand. It's my ex. He's been, like, stalking me. Stalking you? Yeah. It's just a bunch of cheap shots since we broke up. I can't believe he would send me something here. Now. I wonder what's in it. Do you want me to open it for you? No. It's probably something awful. Does your father know about this? No. Why not? I think he should know. Um, it involves something 
where Ben took a picture of me while we were together and, uh... Oh. I see. It was like the biggest mistake ever. Everyone makes mistakes. I'm sure your father would understand. It was me dressed like a cat in lingerie. No. The police are handling it. Do you think that I should forward it to them? I tell you what. You need to put on a happy face for the wedding. Why don't I take this and I'll put it someplace safe for you. And tomorrow you can decide what you want to do with it. Yeah. That's a good idea. so happy. <laughs> Thank you. With this ring, I, Craig Carter, promise to be your loving husband. To have and to hold for as long as we both shall live. With this ring, I, Laura Blackwell, promise to be your loving wife till death do us part. I see your dad at the gym every once in a while, and he told me that you're going to come to the wedding, so I thought I'd stop by. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, these are for you, actually. And this, this is for them. 
how how are you? I feel like I haven't seen you in like a year and a half. But yeah, I think the graduation was the last time we saw each other. Um, what have you been up to? Not much. Just school, work. Yeah. Rehabbing the knee. What happened to your knee? Pick up basketball. Don't worry about it. How, how's Florida? Do you like it down there? Yeah, it's yeah? great. It's humid. But I got all the classes I wanted, and um, I got a part-time job at the Children's Hospital in the physical therapy department. Really? Yeah. That's, that's cool. I can't believe you're here. Are you, are you glad I came by? Yeah. Yeah, of course. I just... I just can't believe you're here. Why wouldn't I be? I don't know. I, I, I think I was just worried that it might be awkward. But you, you never know, I guess. Well, I guess it could have been kind of awkward if I had brought, like, a date or something. I knew you weren't, though, because your dad told me. I see. You look great, by the way. <sighs> Can I get you something to drink? Yeah, sure. What are we having? I was thinking champagne. Bring on the bubbly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good looking. It's my ex, Matthew. Um, can I take these? Yes. Do you need me to get you anything else? No. I'm okay. Thanks. I'll do it, Mom. I'll do it. What are you so happy about today? I have a date. You do? Well, who's the lucky girl? The, the, just a girl from school. Her name's Laura. Laura Blackwell. She goes to my school and I asked her out on a date and she's really pretty. You, you asked her and she said yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Today at lunch I asked her on a date and she said yes. Really? Well, when is this date supposed to happen? Saturday night. We're gonna paint the town red. <laughs> Where are you taking her? I thought maybe here? That way I can show her my comic books. That's a good idea. But what about if you took her to dinner and then a movie? That's a great idea, Mom. Dinner and a movie. Laura likes movies, I think. I'm gonna go look up movies. You know what I just thought? I can take my comic books to the movies. You could do that. <laughs> this is gonna be great! <laughs> It's been a long time since I've been in this room. <laughs> you remember when my dad came home early and you had to hide in the bathroom? I still have nightmares about it. Here. Oh, man. Okay. Here, look. Laura, Florida sucks. Enjoy your summer, Matthew. I mean, what, what can I say? I was bitter about you leaving. I mean, it's the whole reason that we broke up. We broke up because you didn't want to pursue a long-distance relationship. Yeah, well, smarter now than I was back then. Cute smile. Same one.
I better get going. It's getting late at night. I have work tomorrow morning. Um, yeah. Yeah. I will, um, I'll walk you out. Colleen? How does it feel to be newlyweds? Wonderful. Even better once we're gazing at the Mediterranean with sangrias in our hands. Well, you might want to open this before you go. It could be important. All right. Have a great trip, you guys. What the hell is this? Who sent this? Oh, my. Again. Who? Ben, I let him take pictures of me while we were dating, and then I broke up with him, and he posted them all over the campus. Oh, honey. Why on earth would you let someone take pictures of you like that? Have you lost your mind? I don't know. I just, we were, we were drinking and having fun, and I trusted him. We were just being silly. Silly. This is what silly gets you. I've told you a million times, you can't trust these boys. Paul. She already knows she made a mistake. I'm not letting this go. I'm calling the police right now. Dad, no. I already did that. The campus security's on it, and so are the Daytona police. Just go, um, just go on your trip and have fun. I'll let you know if anything else happens. It'll probably blow over by the time you're back anyway. Is posting this picture the only thing he's done? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Fine. The number to the ship is on the refrigerator. My phone will work once we get into Spain. Call me if this gets any worse. I mean it. Okay, I promise. I'm sorry this happened to you. It'll all be okay. Thanks. Okay. We're gonna have a much deeper conversation about this when we get back. Okay? Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Like he said, it will blow over. Yeah, I'm just... I hate disappointing my dad. You know, he's right. He's told me a million times. You have to protect your image. People will take revenge in ways you wouldn't even expect it. And people also make mistakes. Some are big enough that they deserve to pay forever. Like the person responsible for my son's death. And some should be forgiven. You're right, I'll just never make this mistake again. I think we should open that box. Okay. This is getting really spooky. I don't know why he hates me so much. All I did was break up with him. Wow. He must have cared about you more than you even realized. I can't imagine someone doing this unless you've really broken their heart. Are you saying it's um, my fault he's stalking me? No, no, of course not. It's just... There's a lot of passion behind this. People don't normally react that way unless they've been very wounded. Or crazy. I'm calling campus security and letting him know about this little gift he sent me and the flyer he sent to my dad. I'm over it. I didn't request to change my password. <sighs> Sorry, baby. Oh, my God. Hey, good morning. Hi. 
What's wrong? I need your help with something. Um, I think I've been hacked. I'm taking Elise's wedding dress to the cleaners. Do you want me to take yours as well? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. It's on the it's on the floor next to my bed. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah. <sighs> Stupid little bitch. Somebody call for a computer geek? <laughs> yeah. So, some crazy guy you were dating changes your password, huh? Yeah. So you traded up. Ha <laughs> ha. Very funny. All right. This it? Mm-hmm. OK. Well, I should be able to reset the password either in recovery mode or administrative mode. And if not, I did bring a disk in my car. Okay. Let's right. see what you can do. So, how did you meet this vindictive guy, Ben? At an invite. At what? It's this thing where a fraternity invites an entire sorority over for, like, a social event. <laughs> You're in a sorority? Why? Yes. Don't hate on the Greek life. It's really not that bad. Hey, I never hated on it. You, you did, and I just laughed and egged you on. No. <laughs> It's campus security, hold on. Hello? Hi, Laura, I see you called, is everything okay? Yes, um, did you get the picture of the coffin that I sent to you? I did, and you think he hacked your computer too? Right. Okay, I'm having my boy, I mean, um, my friend reset the password right now. Okay, hopefully he can get that reset. I'm noting everything. Okay. Okay. All right, yeah. Thank you. Sure thing. Okay, bye. Coffin? Yeah. This was sent yesterday. It's wonderful. Uh-huh. Made you into a cute little vampire. <laughs> no, it's not funny. He sent an email to my boss trashing me with a bunch of lies and a flyer to my dad of a picture of me in underwear. Can I see this flyer? No. <laughs> I really wish you'd go away. Really. Sorry for making fun of it. Maybe I should fly down to Florida and kick this guy's ass. Yeah. <gasps> Frisco, hey. Oh, yeah. Hey, do you want to go for a ride? You want to go for a ride? Yes. I do, too. Don't go posting that on any flyers. No, I wouldn't do anything like that. What about this one, though? Remember this? Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe you still have this, those hats. What's this from? Uh, math club. Yeah, yeah, we went to state competition that year. Remember this guy? Yeah. Craig Carter, he killed himself senior year. It was really sad. He was incredible at math. He could do super complicated equations just in his head. Really? Yeah. Kids were so mean to him. I remember one time I was eating lunch and some kids just came up and took his food. Old Spirit team members, please report to the community. Is there anybody sitting here? Is that the pizza from the cafeteria? 
Never had it. It looks pretty good. Oh, no, no, thank you. I still gotta finish this. Um, I'm Laura. You're Craig, right? I'm Craig Carter and I'm 18 years old. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm 17. I'll be 18 in a few months. Well, I'm 18 now. Yeah. So what do you like to do for fun? I like to draw. What do you like to draw? I draw comic books. And I draw superheroes. Mm. And I draw cats. <laughs> wow. And I draw planets. Oh, wow. That's really, that, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Did you draw this? Really, really good. That's me. And that's my cat, Jake, mm -hmm. who died. I named him after my dad, who died too. I'm sorry. Why, did you fart? <laughs> <laughs> I did that a few times. Sat with him at lunch over the course of a few weeks, and then I don't know, things got weird. You don't want to go to dinner with me? I had a really great time today, but I have to go finish my paper. Maybe tomorrow. Text you when I get off work. Okay, have a good night. You too. Well, I turned my phone off anyway because of all the texts and stuff. Why? What's wrong? When I got home, the backyard gate was open. Frisco's gone. Oh, my God. I thought I closed that. I, I have to go find her. You want me to come with you? Yeah. Would you? Sure. Frisco!
Did your dad tell you why we had to fire Mona? She was robbing us blind. My dog ran away today. Wait, and did you just say that your dog ran away? I'm sorry, it's really loud here, I can't hear. Yeah. It's my fault for leaving the gate open. I'm sorry. Are you alone? Your dad's on his honeymoon, right? Yeah. Is there anything I can do? Nothing, I just... I wanted to hear a happy voice. Okay. Well, know that I love you, and I am sending you good energy that you find her safe and sound. <laughs> Thanks, Jess. Call me tomorrow. Okay, I will. Exhausted. Emotionally drained. Couldn't sleep last night. I just kept having nightmares that Frisco got ran over by a car. Now I have to write this stupid paper for school. Oh, one step ahead of you. There you go. Oh, thanks. Super awesome of you. It's Ben Steers. Look, I, I, is Laura with you? I've been trying to call her, and I think she blocked my number, and I've been trying to call Jessica, too, but she hasn't been picking up. She turned her phone off, jerk face, because a million guys kept texting her, so... So you know about the flyers she thinks I made? Everyone in our house knows. Well, listen, I was asking around, and I talked to one of my fraternity brothers, and he said that he saw some woman with reddish hair posting those flyers up. What? 
Look, Laura has been telling the campus police that I have been hacking into her computer and sending her weird stuff, and I have not. Look, I have been put on disciplinary probation. Okay, well, what else did he tell you about this woman? That's it, some older woman. Will you please talk to her for me? That's the woman she should be looking for instead of trying to get me kicked out of school. Listen, I know you turned your phone off, but I need you to call me as soon as you get this, okay? Ben just called me and said one of his friends saw an older woman with reddish hair putting up those flyers of you. And as he was saying it, it seemed like he might actually have been telling the truth, so... Anyways, call me when you can, okay? Bye. What do you think is going on? Do you recognize the boy in that photo? Craig Carter, what is this? You are sitting in the very room where he did it. Where he shot himself. This used to be his bedroom. Your son, the one that you said that died in the car accident? This was when he was 12. He won third prize in the science fair. He was so proud that day. What am I doing here? You're here because you need to understand how much he suffered because of you. I never did anything to Craig. I was always nice to Craig. Other kids were mean, but I was always nice to him. Start with these. just married. 
And your friends in Florida, they're too drunk right now to even dial their phone. And no one can track you on social media because you deactivated your account. Oh. You think Matthew was coming for you? Is that who you were talking about? Well, I took care of that. I texted him before we left the house. You felt so bad about losing your dog. You decided to drive up the coast for a few days alone. What did you do to Frisco? Where is she? What did you do to her? Oh, she's long gone by now. She's probably wandering the streets of Huntington Heights. Unless she's been hit by a car or attacked by other dogs. Honey, I did all of it. The flyers. That cute little video on Ben's Facebook page. The letter to your boss. The coffin. All of it. Why? Because you took the only thing I had. My son! Please. Please, you have to believe me. I didn't do anything to Craig. I ate lunch with him a few times, so he wouldn't have to eat alone. That's it. You did a lot more than that. I don't know what you're talking about. It's all right there. The truth. Please, please. I don't know what's in there, but I swear you have to believe Shut me. Shut up, Laura. Shut up. Please, it was never Shut up. Mean. Shut up, Laura. Shut up. Why did you even agree to go out on a date with him? Was it because you felt pity? Was it to be cruel? Why? I don't know what you're talking about. Read it! Dear Journal, today before calculus class, I finally asked Princess Laura the question I've been wanting to ask. Would you go on a date with me? Oh, I'd love to. Friday night? Okay. Friday night it is. She kissed me. Walked me to class. This isn't true. He's made this up. I know this is true. Lizard, you be good, lizard. Okay, because tonight I have a date with the most wonderful girl in the whole world. And maybe if you're lucky, I can bring her back here and you can meet her. Are you ready, honey? <laughs> I have a date. You look great. Now, remember what I told you? No holding hands on the first date. No kissing on the first date. Hold the door open for her. Tell her she looks beautiful. Pay for dinner and the movie. Let her pick the movie. No talking during the movie. Right. And where are you meeting her? I am meeting Laura at the mall entrance number 5 at 7 p.m. for our date. That is where I am meeting her entrance 5 at 7 p.m. Well, we better get going then. <laughs> She show up, Mom. Mom, why didn't she show up? Why didn't she show up, Mom? Why didn't she show up? I don't know, sweetie. I don't know. <laughs>
Later, Matt. Just getting off work, so uh, I just got your text about driving up the coast alone. I, I, I think that's weird because yesterday we talked about getting together and looking for Frisco again. Anyway, uh, I left my wallet in your bathroom, I think, so I need to come by and get it. So hopefully your housekeeper's there so that way I can get in. Um, uh, could you please call me? I'd like to talk to you. Thanks. None of this is real. All this stuff about him asking me on a date and me flaking on him. Are you calling my son a liar? No. I just think um, some of it was fantasy. Stuff he wanted to happen, but it never did. Did Craig ever tell you how his father died? No. Jake died when Craig was 12. <sighs> he was so close to his father. Craig was such a smart kid. He loved so deeply. Do you see that picture there of that lizard? Craig found that thing in the park. He nursed him back to help. What happened to it? The neighbor's cat got it. Craig was outside one day when that cat walked up and dropped that dead lizard right at his feet. Can you imagine how cruel the universe has to be for something like that to happen? His life was just one long string of terrible things. I did all that I could to make it good for him. I, I tried to shelter him from all the meanness in the world, and the pain and the loss. And no matter what I did, just kept having this Terrible luck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the terrible things that happened to Craig. He was so sweet. He certainly didn't deserve the way you and those other kids treated him. He didn't deserve that. Matthew Hensley. I'm worried because I can't find Laura. What do you mean? Where are you? I'm at your house. She texted me saying that she was going to drive up the coast by herself, but I left my wallet here, so I stopped by. Both of the cars are here, and it says her purse and her phone. Was the door unlocked? Yeah, the, the back door. But, I mean, Frisco got out yesterday, so maybe she went looking for her. Is Colleen there? Housekeeper? No. Okay. 
Call Colleen to find out where she is. And I'll text you her number right now. You call me immediately as soon as you find something out, okay? Okay, I will. voice before. Oh, hi. Hi, Mom. Uh, this is my friend Matthew from school. We're going to hang out for a little bit. Well, that's great. I'm just going to run some errands. You want me to pick you up something to eat, like a pizza or something? No, no, thanks. I I'm fine. I can only stay for a couple of hours. Okay, well... It was very nice to meet you, Matthew. I hope we see you again soon. Thank you. Doodles. Come on in. I'll show you my action figure collection. Great. It's Matt. Matt. Do you, do you remember that kid, Craig Carter, who committed suicide senior year? Of course. Do you remember where he lived? Why am I here? Why do you want me here? What do you want with me? I want you to suffer the way he suffered. The way I have. How is it fair that you get to go on with your life as if nothing happened? College? Dates? Weddings? My son will never have a wedding. He will never get the chance to live a life. That's not my fault. He took his own life. Because of you. That's not true. He wrote stories in his journal. These are his illustrations. He was so talented. the police? I think my girlfriend's been kidnapped. She, she's been taken captive by a, a woman named Maria. Did you come here to save the princess? Well, sorry, but in this story, the princess died! That's 
right. She and I are going to take a little ride to the 49th Street Bridge, where she'll throw herself off and end her life. And you, you're not invited. What he never had. The happy ending that he always wanted. <coughs> the beauty of my plan is that no one will ever think that your suicide had anything to do with Craig. You had your own reasons for killing yourself. The loss of your dog. The humiliation of those embarrassing photos online. I want to be at your house when your father gets home early from his honeymoon. I want to see someone else feel the way I felt when I walked into this room and saw Craig lie in a pool of his own blood. You and I are going for a little ride. You cough yourself. Do it! Let's go! Can't do it. Matthew's car. What did you do with Matthew? You little bitch! Where's Matthew? Matthew! Matthew! Laura. Matthew! <coughs> Matthew! Laura! <laughs> I think my shoulders messed up, and my wrists probably are too. Stop right there! Do it! Kill me! I want to be with my husband and son. Don't come any closer. I mean it. Please. Don't make me kill you. 